Commotion? You don't care, do you? No, you uh, stretch it out. Dogs barking, police showing up, us chasing pigs. You're just napping under the car. Yep. Mr. Peaches doesn't have a care in the world, y'all. Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Out here in the rain. <laughs> Let's talk about this. This is a moment of biting off more than you can chew. But this is going to have a happy ending. So, we have a new guest that showed up today. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hello, buddy. New guest showed up today. This fella's actually been rogue a couple times on the mountain. And so uh, we went out to uh, load up the truck because we're already starting to pack firewood for the winter. So, and we heard the dogs begin to bark and all of this commotion. And I don't know what the commotion was, but this little fella right here was trying to play with the dogs up against the fence. So we caught it. And uh, in the midst of us catching this young chap, the police showed up. And uh, long story short, animal control had already been called and uh, we we had the pig and they said the owner is on the way has been um, contacted um, This pig keeps escaping And uh, I said don't worry about it. We've got it I've, I'll give it some sweet feed and a little bit of apple and some water in the shade which we now we've got rain, but uh, and, and it'll be fine. So the owner shows up super gal super sweet gal They've just moved to the area about six months ago or so new to Tennessee and she's like, I can't believe you're set up. This is what I'm, I'm trying to do. But she's like, I'm, I'm working, I'm a working mom. And she said, I, I, I've taken on too much too soon. And so she's like, I really love this pig, but I, you know, I'm having trouble maintaining it and keeping it. And I said, well, I think we can help you with that. So she has surrendered the pig. Uh, to us and has spoken to a really good friend of ours who actually has seen this pig and wants it on their farm uh, and is going to do a really good job taking care of it. So that's what we're going to do. Um, they spoke, have exchanged information, um, all of the above, and uh, Mr. Pig here, I think, we, I think it should be named Biscuit, um, is going to have a great home. The, the point of this video is to say that I know so many people want to take on this lifestyle. And she stood here and she was so sweet, y'all. Uh, and, uh, and she talked about, she said, I, I've, I've taken on too much. I've got to catch up. I've taken on chickens and rabbits and the pig and the kids and all this stuff. And she said, you know, we really have moved here to be more self-sufficient. She said, but you can do too much too soon. And I said, amen, sister. So this is going to have a really good, happy ending but it doesn't always end up that way, okay? So I want you to think about these things when it comes to homesteading, when it comes to taking on new animal life. They have certain needs, folks, and you can never underestimate how smart they are, especially a pig or a goat. They can get out of anything. And that's what's happening. She's like, I, I'm trying to maintain our finances and build a new pig pen, and in the meantime, he keeps getting out. And, uh, she's, and, and so we're gonna help her out. We're gonna help him out. It's going to be a good deal. But think about these things. You got to move slow, okay? You got to move very, very slow. People see certain things and they don't realize, um, you know, first of all, uh, you know, it's taken us a long time to get where we are, okay? It didn't happen overnight. Uh, we, we've been at this um, debt-free, uh, self-sustainable lifestyle hard for a solid 10 years, okay? And for you folks that are younger, um, you know, it doesn't happen when you're necessarily 20, 25, 30 years old, okay? You, got, you might have to get a little old like me um, in order to uh, really do what you want to do. And that is okay. You set your goals. Maintain your finances. Please maintain your finances. I know you hear this rain. So we're going to get Mr. Pig. That's what she had named him. 
I still think it should be Biscuit. Um, to its new owner, it's going to be fabulous. And uh, she did the right thing. And uh, we're happy to help her out. So, it's a new adventure. Okay, so I've got it set up for an emergency pack of multi-species for now for uh, from Tucker Milling and some sweet feed and a little bit of sunflower. And uh, we're getting the tarp ready. It's been pouring the rain. But uh, he's covered up, so we're going to get him packed and loaded. I'm going to film what I can, but I don't want to get my camera too wet. And you can see the thunderstorms and the fog. You can't even see the valley all rolling in, but we're taking care of business. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready to rock and roll? <laughs> So far, so good. It's raining a lot. It's not how we expected the day to go, is it, honey? <laughs> but, animal rescue on the way. You trying to make it across, Blaney? You gonna be a meanie? Let's get you across. Hi. Okay, we're acclimating here. Hi. Oh, look. I think we're going to have a new name. Mr. Biscuit. Just Biscuit. Oh, look. There's my buddy right there. <laughs> What do you think, Hawkeye? What do you think, big guy? Huh? What is going on? Yes. Do you love it? Hi, Astrid. Oh, smell my butt. Smell the butt. <laughs> smell the butt. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Okay. Oh, yes. I love it. Oh, oh my gosh. So we have Mr. Biscuit here. Hi, babe. Has a new home, being fed, and is being acclimated in with the Anatolians. Check it out. Big Anatolians. Yes. Love her. Love them. So we've got a great ownership here. You want to say hello real quick? Mr. Jeff. Hi, everybody. Yes, if you guys remember him from the Great Appalachian Homesteading Conference, ham radio, beekeeper expert, he is going to be the new owner of Love Bug here. Biscuit. So, <laughs> could not have found a better home. He wanted, wanted to take him on, so we will uh, keep you posted on how Biscuit's doing. We appreciate you watching. Jeff, you're a good soul. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see you on the next video. Is this going to be your baby? Your pretty girl. Is this your new baby? Is this your new baby?